Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP 6.5 Data Center Virtualization Training Video and this is 17th video in this series and today in this video I am going to show you how to enable VMware HA which is known as high availability so before configuring uh, the servers and everything I want to tell you about something what is a VMware HA so in simple diagram you can see we have two ESX host which is a part of VMware Hyper-V cluster and we have one virtual machine running here and you can see if uh, uh, on two hosts we have one host uh, uh, when we lost one host the virtual machine is going to migrate from uh, one ESXi host to second ESXi host so uh, so in HA basically what what is going to happen when we we lost any host in cluster the virtual machine which is running on that particular host it's going to move to another any another host which is available in cluster so in meanwhile it will um, basically not migrate the virtual machine from one to another host it's going to uh, restart the respective virtual machine from one host which is lost to another host which is available in cluster so we'll see how it's going to work in cluster and production environment so here is my demo environment which I am going to use here so a uh, same demo environment which we are using from since few videos so we are having five virtual machine here the first virtual machine is win 2 12 dc01 which is my active directory server if I go here you can see active directory and DNS role is running on this machine and this machine is win 2 12 dc01 and you can see the domain name victorinfossil.com so this is my active directory server and the second server we we have a v a v centers a server which is here v center 6.5 you can see i have logged in in my v v center uh, web client v spare web client and you can see here this is this is v center 65 my uh, v center server and we have three ESXi hosts which is ESXi1 ESXi 2 and last we have a ESXi 3 all are running VMware ESXi 6.5 version and you can see in last videos we have created uh, one cluster in our v, v center with uh, including all three ESXi hosts and we having two virtual machine which is running on this cluster and if I go here you can see the last machine is my Starwind SAN which which is providing learns to my uh, this cluster and all the three ESXi hosts so this is my environment and now what I'm going to do I'm going to click on cluster then go to configure and last we videos you, you have seen like we have enabled the uh, DRS in our cluster so and also we have created the schedule for DRS to run on every one hour so it's good and now we are going to configure vSphere availability so if we click here vSphere availability you can see everything is disabled here so now what I'm going to do I'm going to enable the basic uh, availability feature HA feature in vSphere 6.5 so I'm going to click on edit and it will show with the option uh, for the vSphere availability so I'm going to take here turn on uh, vSphere HA so now you can see the guest is not reach, uh, not her heart beating it's automatically hide so highlighted and it's tick and VM monitor is enabled VM will be reset so this is going to be done and if I go here feature and responsibility you can see we have also a host monitoring so if I go here and take this you can see host failure response it's going to restart VM and default VM restart priority is highest and you can see the uh, basically if you want to do some delay in starting the virtual machine so you can configure it from here so uh, here you can see virtual machine monitoring we have enabled only virtual machine monitoring if you have any uh, application monitoring which is enable uh, you can enable that application monitoring also which is running on guest so this is all about the features 
and we have here proactive HA feature so this is something advanced feature so we are going to discuss in next videos and we have administration control and in administration control you can see here host failure cluster tolerance so it's going to like we have three hosts so maximum host which can be failed and which can be handled by this cluster so it by default it's one we can move it to maximum two because we have three SXI host in cluster so I'm going to leave the default which is one and here we have a uh, uh, define host failure capacity by we can set uh, to the dedicated host failure we can set to cluster resource percentage so I'm going to use the cluster resource percentage and I'm going to mark is like percentage will be updated after reconfiguration means uh, this is going to reconfigure the cluster if any host um, goes fail it's going to calculate this percentage and it will deploy the virtual machine and everything so heartbeats data way, data stores you can configure it like I'm, I'm going to configure on my one of the ho uh, like I, ISO with all three ESXi hosts you can configure multiple so I'm going to configure only ISO and here you can we, we have some advanced option to like uh, you can set the advanced option so I'm not going to set the advanced option so we have done the basic configuration here and now what I'm going to do if I click OK now you can see conf configuring uh, vSphere HA is running and it will configure uh, HA option in all three ESXi hosts and then we are able to see how, how the cluster uh, will work in HA mode so just give it some time so now you can see it's completed and if I refresh here you can see we have some warning here related to like my gateway is not reachable so this is a virtual lab so I have configured this virtual gateway and which is not available physically in my environment so I'm getting this so make sure you configured a gateway in your ESXi host to reach out the isolated address so good now we what we can do if I go to cluster and select the configuration you can see the restart virtual machine host failure we have restart virtual machine setup and guest not uh, heart beating so reset VM it's good now what I'm going to show you if I click on one of the ES virtual machine you can see this ES machine is running on ESXi 3 if I go and check this this is running on 1 so I'm going to check this virtual machine mm, so open a console and I'm going to ping do a continuous ping to this virtual machine so win win 2k8 r202 I'm going to put minus 2 here to continuous ping so give this some time and now you can see and now I'm going to s give you example how you can understand like there was uh, some uh, confusion in FT and um, HA for lots of post people so I'm going to give us a simple example here if I do a ping from this machine you can see this is pinging to my domain controller basically so you can see I have often few application on my uh, this virtual machine which is a win 2k8 r2-01 and which is running on our ESXi101 so as we have configured the HA if I go here and uh, remove the power cable or shut the power machine off then it's going to uh, start this machine on our other ESXi host which is available so I'm going to do this now so I'm just assume I'm removing the power cable from back of the server so I'm going to click on power off and you can see now so machine is powered off now and now if I go here you can see I have lost the connection to that virtual machine and it, I'm getting a request timeout and this machine is not more refreshing 
I'm not be able to access this machine so in back end what is going to do it will going to move the virtual machine from one to another ESXi host so it will take some time to understand the uh, failover uh, for the uh, host basically in cluster so then it will uh, DRS will move the machine to ESXi 1 to in ESXi uh, other ESXi host which is available for uh, resource uh, sharing and then th that that will start that virtual machine so now you can see waiting for connection is there so means we lost the connection for the particular virtual machine it's going to restart so now you can see its machine is moved to ESXi2 and we can see here if I go here and right click and open this console you can see it's uh, physically like machine is uh, powered off un un unaccepted so it will going to give you some time and it's going to take you to the 30 second window to restart the machine as a normal so we have to wait for a few seconds and after that the virtual machine is reachable so now you can see the virtual machine is reachable now and we will soon get the screen for this now you can see the machine is at control alter dell and if i go and log into this machine it's preparing desktop now we can see the everything is closed and if i go and check you can see here we have a shutdown event tracker means the machine is unaccepted shutdown and if I go here and check the NIC you can see it's almost 40 seconds up so the machine got rebooted by configuring HA on a cluster and it will restart this virtual machine the second virtual machine is restarted to another host which is available so now we can go ahead and power on this ESXi host as the testing is completed and we have got the on this virtual machine moved from a uh, failed ESXi host to other ESXi host by HA configuration which we have configured so this is all about configuring the uh, high availability in VMware 6.5 so Thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query or any question related to this you can post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye